Today we're going to look at how to import just certain items from a course so that you're not replicating an entire course but you can pick and choose what you want to copy over from a past course. So we're going to start in the course that we want to copy from and we're going to click on the settings for that course and we want to get the sys ID number so that we can make sure that we're copying the correct course. So if it's a current course, you can scroll down and get the sys ID number from here. If it is a concluded course, you'll need to go up to sections and you'll be able to get the sys ID right there. So you can just click to highlight it and then copy it. And now I'm going to go to the course that I want to copy to. And from the home page over on the right hand side, you'll see the menu that says import existing content. And under content type, I'm going to pick copy a Canvas course, which is the first option. And in the search for a course field, I'm just going to paste that SysID number and it's going to pull up the course. So I'm going to select the course by clicking on it. And now under content, where normally you would pick all content if you wanted to copy the whole course, instead we're going to click select specific content and we're going to do that in just a minute. I usually click adjust events and due dates and then click remove dates just to make it easier to edit and now I'm going to click import but what you'll see is it's going to ask you to select the content you want to copy first. So to do that I need to click the select content button and now let's say I want to just copy my gradebook over I know their gradebook is not going to be listed here because the gradebook is basically made up of a column for each assignment. So what I would actually need to do is copy my assignments over. So you can just check that little box there. Or if you want to look at the assignments and maybe select specific ones, you can click on the arrow and it'll pull up all of the assignments here. So here I'm seeing all of my assignment groups that I have. If there was one that I didn't want to copy over, I can just uncheck it. So now it's just going to copy these four items over. And now I will click select content. And then once my copy is complete, I can see there's not going to be anything copied over but those items that I just selected. So the announcements didn't come over, discussions didn't come over, just the assignments did. So you will note that while it did copy over my assignment groups and the assignments in them, it did not copy the assignment weights over. So if you have weights assigned to your assignment groups, you will need to put those in. And you can do that by clicking on the three dots next to the Add Assignment button. Click Assignment Groups Weight. We're going to check the box that says Weight Final Grade Based on Assignment Groups. And you'll see that it does actually have these weights already in here. They just weren't applied yet. So if you did have weights, they will be stored here. But you just have to check that box and then click Save in order for them to show up. 